Hello everyone, your lore keeper here. The all new Dungeons and Dragons movie trailer for Honor Among Thieves has finally dropped and there are a ton of Easter eggs and mentions to lore hidden within it. Today, we are going to take a look at them all. Right away in the first shot we see what we can only assume is Neverwinter. I'm not the biggest buff on Forgotten Realms lore, but hey, it's never too late. We see a small sloop or ship of some kind. We find our party there next to an awesome stone dragon of some kind. Probably won't see that again in the trailer. Hint, hint. And then our plot hook. They stole something that they shouldn't have. It looks like they're in some crazy underground lava river. Not sure what the hell that is. Drop a comment on where you think it is. We see them holding up a helmet, and that look on Chris Pine's character that is currently only called the Bard says, Ooh, shiny, and I love it. We also see this helmet later wielded by the wizard. Uh, another shot of Neverwinter and an inconspicuous arena, and then boom. Raid attack and Black Dragon. Look at those distinctive horns and the acid breath. Really cool Easter egg. They are showing the varying creatures in this trailer. And then we dip into that cookie cutter feel of most action movies today with the obligatory nostalgic rock music for vibe. But honestly, I'm not even mad. This looks awesome so far. Now we see this crazy looking horn. And if you play D&D, you know that some items are cursed. And if there's any item that is going to be cursed in this movie, you are looking at it. And if you don't believe me, just look at this shot here. This screams evil. From what I understand, some people are saying Lich or Vecna. I really doubt that with all the Vecna references this year that the Wizards of the Coast would lean into it even more. More than likely, we are looking at the Red Wizards of Thay, which is a cult of evil mages. Many of their members are Liches, which would explain this guy's face, but it's all still just a guess. This here looks like a time stop or a slow, very high-level magic. Figure it out over a drink? Probably best. This reference here to planning things in a tavern is a classic D&D mechanic. The games always start in a tavern, and you know what? We're all here for it. Love this. Then we have some gorgeous on-location shots. This must have been an expensive-ass film. This here could be the spine of the world, which is near Icewind Dale. Shout out to the Rime of the Frost Maiden. And it looks like our heroes are tied up. Uh-oh. But, uh, hey, he still has his loot. If we had to guess what she is, come on, obviously she is a barbarian. They could not have picked a better actor. Michelle Rodriguez for the win. Uh, this blade here is glowing, which could be a divine smite since we know that he's the paladin in the credits. There is that helmet again in that same setting as the first few shots that we saw. And then, of course, a thunder wave for sure. What we have here is our druid tiefling. You can see the horns there. And an owl bear. Now, if you play D&D, you know that druids can turn into beasts using their wild shape. An owl bear is not a beast, but hey, if you also play D&D, you know about the rule of cool. And let's be honest, this is fucking cool. Look at those thickum thighs. Crazy lava mountain. And there's that dragon again. Who knew that would happen? In this shot, it looks like there's specks of gold or some sort of metal in there. So this is either an animate object bringing that statue to life, or this is a metallic dragon of some kind. Some people are saying silver or bronze. I don't know. Somehow I just don't see the most powerful and benevolent dragons choosing to just be a stone statue in front of a city for hundreds of years. So I'm gonna go with this as an animated stone dragon. This right there, that's got to be a dimension door. And if it is, I love that flavor. And we have the Underdark, dun dun. Green flame blade right there. That is some sort of lightning spell, maybe a shocking grasp or a lightning lure maybe a lightning bolt, and then this looks like either a fireball or fire bolt. It looks too big to be a cantrip like firebolt in my opinion, but the wizard is using the shield spell here, so maybe they really amped up the flames. After all, it's Hollywood. We have a crazy arena here, which looks cool. Definitely gives me Attack of the Clones vibes, minus all the melodrama, and the man, Hugh Grant himself. And of course, one of the most iconic creatures for D&D next to a dragon, the Mimic. These creatures have no shape, able to make themselves appear as pretty much anything like a chest or a door, and they attack you when you get close. This is a big nod to the OG D&D. But whatever happens. And right here, a displacer beast. But what's great about this is you also see a gelatinous cube here off to the side with a mostly dissolved person already in it. So some sort of trial by combat with the Displacer Beast and they decide to jump into the cube, which by the way, most of them melt you on contact. This is pretty funny. Let's hope they have some healing potions, but hey, I wouldn't want to fight a Displacer Beast either. Looks like Ray of Frost here and then right away a Misty Step and then this honking red dragon. It 
and then every D&D player can attest to plans and any run being two hours of planning just for the plan to fall apart in the first round of combat. I'm a planner. I make plans. So this moment here is very funny. I really hope to see more of the bard being the bard like we see here, but overall this movie looks like it could be a lot of fun. If we forgot something, let us know in the comments below. We hope this video helped you find those Easter eggs that you were super curious about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feed your displacer beasts before they, you know. And we'll see you next time, adventurers.